on to the tangent function. So the first thing we notice that A and B still are there, same kind of deal, but the period is going to be different. It starts at pi. Um, and we're also going to have some vertical asymptotes, and we'll talk about that. So, thing to remember, tangent was opposite over adjacent, or in terms of x and y, the opposite was the y, and the adjacent was the x. And so, going straight across, this was 1 comma 0, so 0 divided by 1 was 0. And so let's just go down to 2 pi, that's 0 as well. When you go to pi over 4, that was root 2 over 2, and root 2 over 2. Anything divided by itself, positive 1. Straight up and down, so that would be 0 comma 1. So 1 divided by 0, y divided by x, is undefined. That's where we're going to get our asymptote to show up. 3 pi over 4, off to here. 1 positive, 1 negative. And so we get a negative 1. Negative root 2 over 2, sorry, positive root 2 over 2, divided by negative root 2 over 2. Here, back to pi, you're at negative 1 comma 0. 0 over negative 1 is still 0. Down in the third quadrant, negative divided by negative, same numbers. So that's a positive 1, negative root 2 over 2, divided by negative root 2 over 2. And 3 pi over 2, 0 comma negative 1. Negative 1 over 0 is undefined. We get another asymptote there. And 7 pi over 4, down here, root 2 over 2, negative root 2 over 2. So anything, po 1 negative, 1 positive, so we get a negative 1. So, I'm going to mark pi, 2 pi, and I'm going to mark it on the other side as well. Negative pi, negative 2 pi. So, when x is 0, y is 0. When x is pi, 0, 2 pi, 0, all of these are 0. So let's get this um, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. All right, so when x is pi over 2, or negative pi over 2, pi over 2 is what we got as undefined. That's going to be an asymptote. Notice that when x is half of that, you get 1. When we go past that, 3 pi over 4, x is negative, y is negative 1. 3 pi over 2 is undefined again, so I'm going to put an asymptote there. And I'll show you how this asymptote sort of comes into be. Um, we get a, another positive 1 over here, 5 pi over 4, and another negative 1 over here. You can sort of see 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and you can see how that would continue the pattern this way. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So what's it look like? Well, the closer and closer you get to pi over 2, closer and closer you get to 90 degrees. So imagine, as you get to 90 degrees, you're getting a bigger y value divided by a smaller x value. The smaller the x, the bigger the ratio, because you're dividing by a number smaller than 1. And so that's going to infinity. And so your tangent graph looks like this. You use your asymptotes to your advantage. And we've got a tangent graph that looks very different from the sine and the cosine graphs, but that's because tangents um, can be bigger than one. So find the period. Well, it goes from here 
to here before it starts repeating itself. And you can think of this as being pi over 2, and this as being 3 pi over 2 if you want to think of just in between those two. So pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. That's a distance of pi. Period is pi. The intercept is at 0, pi, 2 pi. Intercept is, is 0, 0 in a sense, uh, the x-intercept. 0, pi, 2 pi, or in general terms, you could say 0 plus pi times n, where n is an integer. And then we set it up top, but the vertical asymptotes show up on odd multiples of pi over 2 times whatever b is. I'm going to come back to that later when we adjust the period, but the asymptotes for this one were pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and so same thing here, except they start at pi over 2, and then every multiple of pi. Every period there's another asymptote, and that's the tangent graph.